What's up, everybody? I am Jesse, or Game Over Jesse, as all of you may know us. Kayla is here, Chablima, who you all may know from the Discord. We have Ilya eating some delicious looking food. And <laughs> we have Maka, who you guys may know as Nintendo Box, joining the podcast for the very first time. We talked about some Smash Bros. stuff earlier. Now we're going to be getting into our review of The Wind Waker. So, on the Highland Games cast, we usually have a topic of discussion. We've uh, used top fives uh, or top tens to discuss random whatever lists or whatever we want to do for the topic of discussion. But lately, we've been thinking about using it as a way to give our thoughts and reviews on games, similar to what we did with what was the name of the game, Kayla? Blossom Tales. Blossom Tales, yes. Uh, a cool Which is a very Zelda good game, like. by the way. Yeah, so we have lots of people that send in <laughs> their games and stuff to review. We don't have time to review all of them, so the codes typically just go to waste. Um, but the podcast, having a review discussion, is a nice way to quickly give our thoughts and to review some of the games that we feel are worth reviewing so we've done a few in the past but today we're going to do wind waker hd or just the wind waker sort of a retro review feels weird calling it a retro game but i guess the original is yeah <laughs> it is <laughs> yeah so with the the wind waker hd a lot of people probably already played it if you haven't you should it's uh one of the most beautiful games that i've ever played art style wise so, Maka, since you are our guest, what are your, I guess, the, the best way to do this? We all go through, we'll give what we loved the most, and then what we hated the most from The Wind Waker. How does that sound? Sounds good. All right. All right. So, uh, Maka, so... starting with you, what did you love the most from The Wind Waker? love the most uh it's got to be art style the, the art, art style, style is the graphics. fantastic the graphics so good i remember playing it it is my favorite zelda game but i remember playing it when i was younger so it is rose tinted glasses a little bit and as a kid that art style just pulled me in and i still think it's when i looked at hd it's still one of the best games around somehow so uh that's probably the best thing about it in my opinion and then uh, negative is I well, cannot we'll, we'll, remember. We'll the come name. back around to the the negative. Oh yeah, sure. Every, sure. Everyone's going to talk about what we loved and then go to the negative. In case you don't know, the reason that I do <laughs> these, whenever I do reviews on games, um, we have actual scripted reviews like this, where we uh, the top ten best and worst. This is a similar format. We're just discussing it instead of scripting it out, uh, but we are going to cover the same thing that we would cover in a typical scripted video like the uh, review for breath of the wild that we have uh, is not only one of our most viewed videos but i'm really happy to say um this channel's review of breath of the wild the top 10 best and worst of breath of the wild is one of the highest viewed breath of the wild reviews on youtube which is really cool um if only I could have got that lucky with the Skyward Sword. Apparently people just hate Skyward Sword, because that video uh, got a lot of hate. And it wasn't people, like, disliking the video, it was just people hating no. on the actual game itself. But anyways, uh, so we aren't biased, because a channel dedicated to Zelda reviewing a Zelda game... <coughs> you could call us a bit biased. Uh, so to make it fair, we're going to list off what we love and what we hate about the game instead of just not mentioning any of the hate stuff so uh kayla going to you what was your favorite part of the wind waker all right so i haven't actually played winter when because I am waiting to actually meet up with Daniel in person so I can borrow it from him because I never bought it. Wait, um, so you, you haven't played the original either? From actual... No, I played the original. Okay. I just haven't played HD. Okay. Yeah. Me either. Good. Good. Um, yeah, so... 
honestly, for Wind Waker, like, I just, I really like the soundtrack. The soundtrack, I play all the time just in the background and whenever it comes on just like randomly in a playlist it's like full jam i start going like thank you nintendo yeah. prime for the 199 <laughs> yeah. yes dude <laughs> uh, for those who don't know uh, um, nintendo prime uh they have a similar youtube channel to mine he used to run zelda informer before zelda dungeon purchased it and uh, after he left Zelda Informer, he started Nintendo Prime and go watch his stuff on there because that's how I I met Daniel, the person who Ilya is replacing tonight, uh, through Nintendo Prime. Uh, Nate, we met up with him at E3. He was really cool. First time I met him in person. So thank you, Nate. You're a very beautiful, sexy man. I wish I could buy you a milkshake sometime. Aw, yes. Thank you, Nate. Yes, thank you. Thanks. But yeah, definitely my highlight of The Wind Waker is the soundtrack. Because that's the one thing that always gets me the most with uh, Legend of Zelda games. It's the soundtrack. Yes. Was there a, a particular yeah. song that you liked the most from the soundtrack? Dragon Roost Island. It's <laughs> a good song. Alright, uh, moving on to you, Ilya. Okay, so there are so many things I love about The Wonder Waker. Okay, so I'm trying to pinpoint one thing. Because there's like three things. One of them, not as much. I was going to be like, oh, the fact that he has a little sister, because mm -hmm. I have two older brothers. And for me, it was like, oh, this is my Zelda game. Um, anyway. I think, honestly, I cannot choose between the two. It's a tie between the music and the graphics for very weird reasons. The music, just because it's the music and it's great. And thank you to whoever suggested on Twitter that I look at the soundtrack by I'm Mir Noon. That's like Celtic versions of like a bunch of Zelda music. Their Celtic version of the Wind Waker title screen is amazing. So whoever suggested that to me, you are a godsend because that album is amazing um and i listened to it the whole drive here um but the graphics because for anyone that doesn't know um well everyone knows that a lot of people hated the graphics when it first came out but it was because of those graphics that a lot of the developers wives and female friends and family members started getting into the game playing and that's actually part of why I started playing Zelda more was because of the Wind Waker. I was also a little bit older. I was only three when Ocarina of Time came out and it scared the shiznit out of me. Um, but <laughs> I loved it. Um, but Wind Waker, I felt like I can get into this. Like, yeah, it was more kitty, whatever, but I could get into it. And I feel like that started opening doors for a lot more women getting involved with the games. Um, just because it, it was almost like, not that it's a girlier graphic, but it seemed friendlier. So as a young me, I could get into it more. And like I said, a lot of the developers, wives and such, got into it. So mm -hmm. sorry if I keep like mm -hmm. panting. My mom put buffalo sauce on my chicken, which I asked her to do. But I'm like, ah, this is how white <laughs> I am. I can't handle yeah, a tiny bit of buffalo sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a donation. Can you give a shout out? Huh? During your, uh... Yeah! Steve! Steven! No, it's not seven. Steven, I can't, I can't. No, it is seven. Speak. Seven moments. It is seven, seven, seven. moments. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You gave a $5 donation. Yeah. This that could buy a lot of things. Great work, guys. I could buy Love the channel. a milkshake. <laughs> it, it can buy a milkshake. <laughs> thank no, you so much yeah you, you guys you, are being awesome we, we had a few new patreon supporters uh between yesterday and today and now during the live stream you guys are uh donating being very very nice so thank you for that uh anyone else who donates as soon as we see it we will try to give yes. you a shout out for it and read whatever it is that you have um it might be a good way to have your question being read, hint, hint, later on. 
uh, because we do have a few from the Patreon supporters this time. So, Ilya, uh, would you like to finish what you were saying? I mean, that was pretty much it. <laughs> Me going crazy <laughs> about the music and the fact that for me as a kid that also got like women more involved with games all right not because it's less cool zelda but it was different and we liked it yeah um, and also one of my favorites is twilight princess so twilight princess i like dark stuff too <laughs> all right yep. i will say what i loved the most about the wind waker was that it was the first time that I can think of in a Zelda game that put a huge focus on one of the previous versions of the hero. Mm. So uh, like after Wind Waker, like Twilight Princess came out, Twilight Princess put a huge focus, like it was essentially like a a newer version of Ocarina of Time. Um, because like you go to the forest temple, the fire temple, the water temple, something big happens, uh, you get the master sword or whatever. Um, Ganondorf, you know, same bad guy or whatever. So like Twilight Princess, a lot of people look at it as like, uh, like you start the game out being raised in like a forested area. So a lot of people look at the similarities and stuff. But anyways, um, Twilight Princess had a huge focus on the Hero of Time link. He's actually in the game as Link's like great great whatever grandfather. He's also the hero's shade. Um, Skyward Sword couldn't really put a focus on like heroes before that because you know it was the first in the timeline or whatever. But Wind Waker was the first time that we've seen like an importance put upon the hero that came before. There was a statue of the hero of time. Um, like the game begins telling you that like it retails the events of Ocarina of Time and the Flood and it's tradition to pass down like the green tunic to boys whenever they turn the certain age and everything. So I like that. Like it just basically ties it in with the, the story and everything. So that's that's really what I like, is that whenever a game rewards people for playing whatever the game was that came before it. Even though the story, you could play Wind Waker as your first Zelda game, but if you played Ocarina of Time before it, then mm -hmm. it adds a lot more depth to the story. You actually get the references and everything. Wind Waker being the first time that I can think of that that was really, really cool. Uh, that was cool. So, moving on to what we dislike. Also, our good friend um, Maka said that he has to leave in about 10 to 15 yeah, minutes. I do. Yeah, so maybe uh, we can get through this uh, review in the next five minutes or so. So, Because now we're just going through listing off the bad stuff. So, what did you dislike the most about The Wind Waker? Um, that one quest at the end, can't remember its name, the one where you have to collect... The Triforce like, chart? The Triforce, list. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is just padding, and it's such a pain. Like, I was so glad that they condensed that a bit in HD. Yeah. So, yeah. The, the interesting thing about that is that whenever they were remaking the game, they said that was one of the things that they disliked the most about the game as well. Originally, I think there was supposed to be like, uh, because towards the end of development, the game was kind of rushed, which is why they took out like two or three of the dungeons. And I think some of the dungeons that they took out was supposed to be a part of that. So yeah. it would be like you would find some of the pieces or whatever and then there would be a dungeon, and then you'd find a few more of the pieces, or something like that. So if it would have been the way that it originally would have, then it would have flowed the same as the rest of it. But because they took out the main parts of the game that were supposed to be at that point of the game, it just feels like you're doing a bunch of useless stuff. Whereas before, it would have actually felt a part of the game. So that kind of shows the... Uh, 
like the the what can happen when a game is rushed or whatever which is why miyamoto mm -hmm. has like the famous quote that like um i forgot exactly what it was but it's like a delayed game can be good but a rushed game something i don't know anyways uh going to you Ilya. no i know what you're talking about it yeah um my mind my... is going like a thousand miles per hour right now well i knew what quote you were talking about yeah um my least favorite thing in the wind waker as much as i love these two characters it's the escort missions Ooh. your dungeons i love makar and i love Wait. medley when we had the same thing about what we liked and disliked about the Zelda series as a whole, wasn't this your thing? I said escort missions. Yeah. Even though I, for some <laughs> reason, totally forgot about the one in Breath of the Wild. I was like, for some reason, that didn't bother me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Whatever. But as much as I love Medley and I love Makar, I have a little plushie of Makar in my room at home, and he's so freaking adorable. Um... I just don't like having to carry this character and then bring them somewhere else, make sure they get to the right spot, make sure the shield shines correctly and that she's in the right spot and that his tree thing grows and oh crap, he got taken away so now I have to go find him again. It, it slows me down and it makes me... The worst is the one in Ocarina of Time, but if there's something I dislike <laughs> about Wind Waker, it's the two escort missions. But the characters themselves are beautiful characters. All right, Kayla, what did you dislike um, the most? Mine is definitely the sailing, but I have heard that it got fixed in the HD remake. Mm -hmm. A lot faster. Yeah. yeah, yeah. but I was going to say, it's just like the entirety of like having to find the Triforce pieces and then find all the charts. And I remember it's like the last oh. time I actually played through Wind Waker, like I got to that part and I was collecting the charts and the Triforces. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to beat it this time through. And I was actually just looking. <laughs> <laughs> I borrowed like the original copy for GameCube off of a friend, so maybe I'll like go back and actually try to play it, or maybe I will wait until Daniel gives me his <laughs> HD. Yeah. Uh, the cool thing about the Wind Waker, a bit off topic, um, it was the only like uh, custom version of the Wii U that they had. It was like the Wind Waker HD version of the console uh but gus oh, in the good. chat uh donated nine dollars ninety cents and oh ruples, my gosh ruples, I thanks think. thank you i don't know Gustavo, if that's our thank uh, yeah, you. that that's that's really awesome like i always watch the streams that people do whenever like uh nintendo prime has it really cool <gasps> oh you deleted it oh no no do i undelete it <laughs> oh no Oh, you messed Gus, up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, Wait, so can I, can I undelete it? No, it won't let me undelete it. She did not mean to do that, Gus. Uh, Gus, no. you know you're one of my favorites. I feel so bad. Yeah. Oh. I forgot what I was saying. The only now. thing I can do now is put you in a timeout. <laughs> so with the. Uh... <laughs> I was saying, like, Nintendo Prime doing his live streams, I'll see him always, like, he'll have a thing to where, like, he'll take a shot if someone donates or whatever, and, like, a lot of people do that, and I never, on my streams, like, I never prompt people or ask them to donate, and oftentimes whenever they ask, or whenever they say, like, hey, I'm gonna become a Patreon supporter, I'm like, no, please don't, like, Netflix is like ten dollars and it's ten times better than what I could offer. Or like instead of donating five dollars, go buy yourself a milkshake or something. Uh but whenever people still donate or become a Patreon supporter, it's it's very awesome. So thank you. Um But Kayla, you said that the selling, right? Yes. So what they did on the new Wind Waker H D is they made it so that when you use the quick sell or the swift sell, which was also originally supposed to be in the original game, they had three cells. One was like the Zora cell, one was named something else I forgot, and then there was the normal cell. Uh, but they scrapped the other two. But with Wind Waker HD, they kind of combined them because one was supposed to let you control the wind without having to... Yeah. Uh, 
use the Wind Waker, and the other was supposed to let you go faster. So with Wind Waker HD, they kind of combined them into the Swift cell so that you don't need to play the song. Uh, it goes whichever direction you're going, it just automatically points forward, and then it doubles your speed. So it's really, really cool. Um, and then the thing that I would that I disliked the most about the Wind Waker was the shortness of it. Um, yeah. I, do, I think it has like six dungeons total where like it came after Ocarina of Time. Um, yeah. Which had like 10 or 11 dungeons if you count like the mini dungeons or whatever. Like Ganon's mm -hmm. Castle if you count that as a dungeon. The Ice then, Cavern. Yeah. The Ice Cavern. The uh, bottom of the well and stuff. And then you can count the Spirit <laughs> Temple as like two dungeons. Anyways, mm. and then Twilight Princess had the most dungeons from any Zelda game. And between that, you had the Wind Waker. I know I'm leaving out Majora's Mask, but the entire purpose of that game was to rush a Zelda game. But between those two huge games was the Wind Waker, which had, like, uh, I think, like, six main dungeons? I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, so, like, yeah. to me, it just felt too short because it has like the largest or one of the largest versions of Hyrule that we've seen but then the game goes by really quick so like a lot of people make uh, the debate on if it would have had all of the cut content from it then like there was another half of the game that could have been there um, yeah so it wasn't originally supposed to be that short but because it was that's one of the things that I don't like about it, which is like, the game is so good, the worst thing about it is that it ends, is basically what I'm trying <laughs> to say, which is a cop-out. But anyways, uh, Maka. You there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The webcam's going a bit <laughs> Sorry, I was just me. reading chat. I was, I was, yeah, I was in chat. Oh, I thought yeah, you were frozen. Okay. You were just like... No, so I'm chill. just so yeah. tired. There, there's a, endly <laughs> a lot of great people in the chat today donating and stuff so yeah. thank you guys but maka uh since you have to leave after this we're just gonna have the zelda yep. mailbag i think we're just gonna answer like one or two questions each and then we're going but thank you for joining uh, no problem for the people that want to follow you on twitter to get more from you where can they follow you what do, what do they type in to yeah. go and look at your sexy tweets Ooh. Well, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it is nbmaka, so uh, that's nb as in Nintendo box, and then m-a-c-a, uh, and then from there you can find my blog and stuff, uh, and uh, yeah, watch me tweet about everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. everything. What made you, uh, everything. if you don't mind me asking, what made you like step yeah. away from the world of YouTube? The world of YouTube. Um, I think it was uh, kind of going to uni, um, and uh, I had like my big PC, and I didn't want to have to lug that to uni and then back. So I kind of like I left it for a bit, and then I've just never. I don't know. I've never got back to it properly. But then I'm doing this blogging at the moment, and it's like right into my passion so um that just kind of works for me now but i love being on other people's videos so yeah what's the well. uh, yeah. do you remember how we met each other was it because of mcintyre or old mcintyre it was yeah it was through mcintyre yeah it was through andy mcintyre productions was a great channel yeah yeah so old with the uh, yeah was uh what is the uh the blog or the website that people could check out your writing yeah, I'll pop a link in the chat, but it's also Nintendo Box, because um, I love that name. Like, I'm, I'm still in love with that <laughs> name. I was, I was happy when I got it for YouTube, so I was like, Aww. I'm going to use that again for my blog. <laughs> yeah, didn't you at um, one point yeah, so you just... changed it to like from Nintendo Box yeah. to like Gaming Box or something like that? Yeah, I was going to... Um... I was going to do uh, some like non Nintendo videos, so uh, I ch I think this was when there was a huge drought on Wii U, and I was yeah. like disillusioned. Mm -hmm. Um, so it got changed to VG Box, but now it's back to Nintendo Box. Yeah, reminds <laughs> me of um, the uh, Cinemassacre or the Angry Video Game Nerd, 
whenever he first started, it was the angry Nintendo nerd, and now it's the angry video game. Oh, nerd. right. Yeah. Ah. And then uh, in his theme song, he even has the part where it's like, he's the angry Nintendo nerd, he's the angry Nintendo PlayStation Atari, and then he like names off all the other consoles really fast. But anyways, Maka, thank you, everybody. Put in your questions. We're going to answer your questions. Brilliant. Thank you for All joining right, us. It was much. nice to meeting you. Bye, Maka. Yeah, lovely meeting you, and thanks for having me, guys. Cheers for having me, Jesse. Yes, thank you. Cheers. Bye. 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 All right. I thought it was Finally, three. he's gone. I was literally going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go, and then there were three. <laughs> All right, so... Let me mark the time here. A needle pulling thread. I didn't say it in time. For anyone that caught that. A needle oh. pulling a thread? What? So, a needle pulling thread. Oh, okay. So here's what's going to happen. Um, we're going to have oh, pull up the questions. Kayla, since I imagine you have the questions pulled up. I do, I do. Okay, so we're, I'm going to do the introduction. You're going to pick the first question. In that time that you're asking the first question, I'm going to update with the Patreon questions. Okay, sweet. Okay. And then Illy and I can get our question from there, and then once we answer those, then we're out. So. Alright. You guys ready? Yeah, See. let's do this. Hey everyone, it's me again, Ilya Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can receive many rewards, such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse, and much, much more.